Hello there, I'm Teresa LaBarbera and you are watching Connecticut Style. Thanks for joining us. Coming up today, it's one of the great American mysteries of all time and now we're one step closer to possibly solving it. Whatever happened to pioneer pilot Amelia Earhart will bring you a fascinating story. And later on, our style squad of experts, T.C. Brantley, Diane Grizel, and Tom Holland weigh in on some hot button topics for a lively conversation. Over to you, Steve, in the kitchen. Teresa, you deserve a night at the beach. I'm here with Michelle Johnson and executive chef Joseph Didi from Water's Edge Resort and Spa. We're working on a little deal for later on after the show. What are we making here today? Give us an idea. Today we're gonna make a little bit of tuna tartare. Tartar? Some filet mignon mm. with Maine mm. lobster. Ooh, oh, I like that. Oh my gosh. What's your favorite part? When you look at it, you're a chef, you know this stuff. What do you enjoy the most? What's your favorite? I enjoy using fresh ingredients, making beautiful presentations uh, uh, that taste good as well. It's the best. All right, we gotta do it. We practice this, okay? okay. So you go first, you go second. Look into that camera, tell the folks at home what we want them to do. Sit back, go ahead, take. Sit back, relax. We're you... having lunch with style. Oh yeah. Starry nights, city lights, comfort galore at an uptown price. Not at my Bob. Why pay $2,500 or more elsewhere? My Bob's is different, and here's why. Mine is only $9.99. Discover fun for the whole family at the Dinosaur Place in Oakdale, Connecticut, in the heart of Mystic Country. Come face to face with over 30 life-size dinosaurs. Find adventures in a real maze. See an erupting volcano, then cool off in the region's largest splash pad. The fun never stops at the Dinosaur Place, both outdoors and indoors. Dig for gemstones in the jackpot mine. Pan for gold and keep what you find. So much to do, so much to see. Season Pass is now available. Have you been treating your chronic low back pain with prescription pain medication and experiencing constipation? If so, you may qualify for a research study testing an investigational medication to help treat chronic low back pain and the constipation that may occur when taking prescription pain medications. Qualified participants must be 18 or older, experiencing moderate to severe chronic low back pain for three months and taking a prescription pain medication for at least four weeks. All study-related care and medication will be provided at no cost. Call 1-203-528-0411. Excellent quality, superb choice, and lower prices than anywhere else around. Can such a remarkable place really exist? Surprise! Quality, choice, and value. That's my Bob's way. It's one of the great American mysteries of all time. And now we're one step closer to possibly solving it. What ever happened to pioneer pilot Amelia Earhart? What may be a big new clue has been uncovered. ABC's Ron Claiborne has fascinating details about this famous missing persons case. We may now be one tantalizing step closer to finally solving the mystery of what happened to Amelia Earhart because of this, a 1930s era glass jar of anti-freckle cream. Yet another gender specific, female specific artifact from this archaeological site. Five broken pieces of the jar were found on the tiny, uninhabited South Pacific island of Nicomaroro, where some think that Earhart made an emergency landing in July of 1937. Reconstructed, it looks a lot like this container for Dr. Berry's freckle ointment. Amelia had freckles, and there are numerous occasions when she expressed concern about her freckles. Researchers from the group that found the jar say one glass shard seems to have been used as a cutting tool, giving further credence to the theory that Earhart and her navigator Fred Noonan survived on the island as castaways. In 2010, a woman's compact buttons and a zipper from a flight jacket, all American made in the 1930s, were also unearthed on the same island. The island only a few hundred miles off the same flight path Earhart gave in her last radio transmission, depicted here in the 2009 movie, Amelia. We are running north and south. We hear you. We hear you. Are you receiving us? For decades, the popular theory was that Earhart and Noonan died when their plane ran out of fuel and crashed into the sea. Now another piece of evidence, pieces of glass, that the fearless flyer managed to land her plane only to perish later. 
Boy, I tell you, you gotta love independent women. Fantastic. Up next, Water's Edge Resort and Spa I invite you to indulge in award-winning food. We'll be back right in the kitchen after this. Rachel Lutzker for Advanced Window Systems of Berlin. Did you know that AWS has great prices on expert roofing and siding too? Get the best for less and call AWS. Advanced Window Systems, 1-800-841-6544. It's back. The seventh annual Goshen Stampede. This Father's Day weekend, June 15, 16, and 17. New England's best event. Bigger than ever. More rough and rough rodeo action with the toughest bulls, the wildest horses, and the craziest kids. An all-new three-day music fest featuring none other than Colt Ford himself. As always, screaming super trucks ripping up the track. And don't forget the two huge demolition derbies, thrilling rides, and fireworks, too. Three days packed with Coliseum shows. Fun for the whole family. Barefoot and crazy fried grain tomatoes. That's a sawmill gravy. Take pride in working hard for a living. Imagine emergency care designed for a better patient experience. Imagine Griffin Hospital. Our board-certified emergency medicine physicians and highly skilled nurses provide outstanding care to help patients get back to their lives quickly. In fact, Griffin Hospital's emergency department's fast, efficient, and compassionate care is rated in the top 5% in the nation. Emergency care that's better by design. Griffin Hospital. Rachel Lutzker for Advanced Window Systems of Berlin. Call AWS today for the spring special. 12 months interest-free if paid in full within a year. Advanced Window Systems, 1-800-841-6544. Whether you're planning a wedding, a romantic getaway, or other special occasion, Water's Edge Resort and Spa provides a beautiful backdrop, I'd say, right on the shoreline in Westbrook. Here to fill us in are catering sales manager Michelle Johnson and executive chef Joseph Vitti. Guys, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having Thank us. You. Water's Edge is so nice. I have to mention we had our Christmas party last year and it was just spectacular. <laughs> so we're so excited that you're here today. Um, booking weddings, is that what's going on? Yes. Yep, absolutely. We're right in the middle of season and, um, you know, we're in the grind and it's just a great experience. I know my friend Gil Simmons got married there. Yes, actually. I remember that one. Wow. Do you remember? I remember that one. Oh, that's very fantastic. Well. Good time. All right, we have some beautiful food here today. What are we making, Chef? Uh, today we have a couple of my favorite dishes. This one here is tuna, ahi tuna and tartar. Ooh la la. Um, some nice fresh tuna with scallions, cilantro, sesame seeds, and wasabi oil over some crispy wontons. And this would be something you served as an appetizer? Yes, this is actually something, a, a version of something that we have on our wedding menu right now. Okay, that sounds great. And um, I see some fillets here as well, right? Right. We're going to do a little filet mignon with some lobster and a puff Ooh, pastry bowl of hot. Can't go wrong with those. Now, we should mention you also have um, some wedding packages available. Yes, we have four wedding packages, so we um, try to be as versatile as possible and try to accommodate all different types of price points. That's great. Something for every budget, I suppose. Exactly. And Father's Day is right around the corner. Are you having any specials? I'm, I'm assuming the brunch is going to be a hot item. We have a big Father's Day brunch going on okay. um, from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m., so it is an all-day event, so you should definitely check it out. And I'm supposed That's to ask you about the parting plan party planning room. Sounds fun. Yes, we <laughs> are in the process of building this g gorgeous room. Um, it's kind of an all incorporated. We're going to bring in clients, our couples to kind of upgrade their linens, china, anything they want. Ooh, a yeah. little makeover. Yes. I love that. <laughs> all right, well, let's get cooking here. Let's finish this up. All right, we're going to put a little fun sauces onto this plate here to finish it off. I have what a, are these fun sauces? This is a <laughs> soy-based sauce here. I'm just going to do something like that. This is a cilantro infused oil. Ooh, it's pretty. Cilantro. Oh, and it stays right in the lines here. Right. I love that. And we have a spicy chili sauce. Now, is this something you would dip the tuna in more or less, or is it just yes. pretty? What do you think? Yes, actually you could dip it, bold. or you could <laughs> drizzle it over the top. <laughs> and we're going to make some fun designs with it here. Wow, Chef, this is like a work of art. It's so pretty. Right. It looks good, and it tastes good, too. What are some of the other items uh, on the menu for weddings? There's a lot of, can you choose just about anything? Absolutely. We have uh, Chilean sea bass. We have uh, rack of lamb. We have quite a wide variety for, we have vegetarian options. Gluten-free options. We do. We really try, we have an extensive menu, and we try to 
you know, accommodate everybody. We should mention that beautiful cake we see on the end here. Do you, you have a, a baker on staff, or how does that work? Yes, we have an executive pastry chef, Ken Mosick, who does a phenomenal job. That is as it. you can see. Does it taste as good as it looks? Oh, yeah. Without a doubt. <laughs> I'm certain it does. Now, are those real flowers on there also? Yes, they, they are. They are. Oh, he can um, incorporate real flowers as well as sugar flowers. So That's he fantastic. Does custom design cakes um, t to their theme and colors. You do groom cakes too? We do. Just whatever you need, right? Mm -hmm. All right, I see a lot of pots on the stove here. Okay, we're going to pan sear filet mignon here. So I have a little bit of olive oil we're going to put in this pan here. Now, typically you want to serve a filet rare, or I know people order it well done sometimes. What well, do you think of a chef? chef's <laughs> choice would be medium rare, medium without rare. a doubt. Okay. Without a doubt. We're just going to allow that to get a little bit hotter. And it's not just filet we're having here. No, we're going to have <laughs> some lobster here as well. Okay. Which is right here. I have a sauce that's also made with lobster. You know, we should mention uh, a lot of shopping by the air, by once you get to Water's Edge. It's yes. Like, you really don't have to leave the premises. You really don't. We um, own the shops in the parking lot, and there's a Michelle Bridal, which is um, great for our brides who book at Water's Edge. Um, there's a few different jewelry stores, and then, of course, our arcade is in there as well for the oh, kids. Oh, very fun. Now, <laughs> let me ask you, um, salon services, is that right nearby, I would assume? We do have a spa on site, and then we also have a hair salon right in one of the shops. You really don't have to leave. This is one-stop shopping. <laughs> All right, so our pan is hot. The pan is hot. Our meat is searing. <laughs> and we're ready to go. Tell me more about this lobster sauce that we're putting on top. Okay, basically what I did is I made a stock from lobster shells, um, vegetables, and uh, we, we take the broth and we add a little bit of cream to it, a little mm -hmm. bit of butter, give it a little body, make it nice and smooth. Did you pick the meat right out of the claws, Chef? Pick the meat <laughs> right out yourself? of the claws. Those were fresh <laughs> lobsters. Wow, that's Fresh fantastic. from Maine. That's great. I'm just going to turn that one over like that. I want to ask you both, what's, uh, what are your favorite items on the menu? Oh. I know there's a lot to choose from. These are actually two of my favorite that I'm making right <laughs> here today. Oh, lucky us then. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and what do you like? He makes this stuffed rolled chicken that I absolutely love. Mm -hmm. Actually, one of my grandmother's recipes. Is that right? Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, good. All right. Now we have some fresh asparagus. Now this is gonna, these are quick to, to cook, right? Absolutely. I want to ask you about the fireworks spectacular happening. It's going to be a huge event. We do it every year. It's going to be Monday, July 2nd. It starts at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We have um, tons of food, games for the kids. Everybody kind of blankets and camps out to wait for the fireworks at uh, once it gets dark. Everyone wants a good right? And you can see yeah. right over the sound. Oh, yes. it's probably beautiful. They shoot them off from a barge in the ocean. It's great. Oh, cool. <laughs> Well, that's worth coming down and checking Absolutely. out everything. Definitely a good family event. All right, Chef, what are we putting in the... This is some um, red onion confit. Basically, what I did is I took some red onions, and they're cooked down nice and slow in some confit? red wine. Confit? Is that what you called it? Confit, yes. <laughs> what do I know? <laughs> it's a technique of slow cooking. Okay. So the onions are sautéed in a little bit of butter and then deglazed with some red wine and a little bit of sugar, and that's cooked down, and it's going to be the sauce for the filet mignon. Oh, that's fantastic. All right, we have a little bit, about a minute left at the okay. moment. Okay. Right. We're moving right into this here. So you sear it, and then you put it in the oven just so it cooks all the way through? Right. Cook it to the guest's desired temperature. All right. Oh, it smells fantastic already. And I bet you that asparagus is almost done too, right? Absolutely. Very close. Let's take this here. Well, this is going to be lobster. quite a lunch on Connecticut style today. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky us. Nice big chunks of lobster going in the puff pastry here. Oh, how pretty. How long have you been at Water's Edge, Chef? I have been there for about 20 years. Wow, you're the veteran over there. <laughs> started, started, You've done a lot of weddings, haven't you? Yes. <laughs> started low in the ranks and have moved up. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay. Take a All right, well, we're going to try this at the end of the show. Yeah. I can't wait. I'm already looking forward to it. I want to thank you both for being here. Thank you for having us. Sure, and of course, we'll have all the information online. Uh, if you want to visit Water's Edge Resort and Spa, you can go to their website, which you see there, or come to WTNH.com. We'll link you up there. The phone number, 860-399-5901. Coming up next on Connecticut Style, our Style Squad weighs in on some hot-button topics. Don't go anywhere. You won't want to miss this. What is so pretty?
be right there. We just want to know, is the school doing anything? This is a serious situation, and we just want a comment from you. Tonight, we've got their back. Take a look at the link. News hates Tina to tell has their back. We've got your back. We're going to go to the meeting tonight, and we're going to try to get some answers for you. We asked the DOT just what he's taking so long. I told the mayor he needs to stop dragging his feet and do something about this. What's important about this is the fact that New Haven streets are much safer tonight. It's Scott Haney at Middlebury Consignment. Have you picked up things here? That, you Absolutely. Know, what have you gotten? I've got, I don't think I could go in one room in my house without finding something that I've gotten here. And of course, while I'm here consigning, <laughs> there's a lot of damage done because I always <laughs> manage to find the perfect thing for my house. Which is dangerous. Very dangerous. But it's a fun dangerous. It is. Middlebury Consignment, consignment and a whole lot more. Middlebury Consignment, come spend the day. Each year, nearly half a million people sustain a traumatic brain injury from a car or motorcycle accident. Just last week, it happened to you. Your head still hurts, and it may be more than a headache. Take it seriously. Get the help you need right now. Get Carter and get the no-fee guarantee. 1-800-900-6700. There are so many hot button topics we want to talk about, so today we wanted to try something a little different. And we're tapping into the experts, their opinions from some of our regular guests. Joining us today on our style squad, we're going to call it, our relationship expert, T.C. Brantley, business and marketing expert, Diane Grizel, and fitness guru, Tom Holland. Guys, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having so us. So we're going to talk about some hot button uh, topics and see exactly what you guys think. First one that's making news is a woman from Arizona. Her name is Suzanne Eamon. She wants to be labeled as the fattest bride in the world. Mm -hmm. We're talking 700 pounds. She yep. consumes somewhere around 30,000 calories. A lot of calories. She's keeping track of it all on the internet. I mean, this is crazy. Tom, as a fitness guru, I got to ask you, 30,000 calories in one day? That's hard to do. I you know, know. <laughs> That's yeah. working in and of itself, right? <laughs> What I found so disturbing when I read up on it is the doctor. Her doctor says he doesn't see any, any underlying uh, health yeah, causes, and she's capable of making her own decisions. Obviously, she's not. Well, she's not making know. good decisions at all, period. All right. Life, you know? And you she's know, got two kids. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Yeah. It's not taking right. anything into account. We, we're in a society now, if your 15 seconds of fame relies on yep. a, totally ignoring your personal dignity, your family, your health, it's a right. sad state. Right, right. Would uh, you call this a publicity stunt, maybe? She wants uh, her 15 minutes of fame, as I, you said? Well, I think it is, personally. It seems like a way to get a lot of attention. I wonder how really based on love that marriage is going to be, or if it's a quick way for a chef to get some quick attention <laughs> you know, to. I hate to be skeptical, <laughs> but... From, uh, from a marriage point of view, you know, I got issues with that because how the marriage is going to go along, but I tell you on the wedding night, uh, who's going to be on top? But, you know, besides that, <laughs> oh, uh, there are some Tell issues with what we did. I'm sorry, I just have to be honest here. Because again, you know, in a marriage, it's not just what you say on the vows, it's how you are, it's how you feel about yourself, and uh, that's going to go into the issue as well. I mean, we're talking inner beauty, right? That has nothing uh, to do with it. Beauty is there, but, but again, you are what you eat. So if you're not eating well, then you're not going to last as well. Yes, I don't think anyone's questioning inner beauty. Oh, I, you no, know, I always no. use the line, we were talking about Jack LaLanne before. Yeah. I've never met fat, a, a fat person mm -hmm. I didn't like, but fat is a problem. Right. Sure. It, it's a health problem. It could lead to so many other problems. Exactly. All right. Well, we'll see how that goes. Yes, we will see. <laughs> Let's move on to another topic here. Uh, the, uh, this one's for the record books. A 14-year-old from China is going to be the youngest golfer to play in the U.S. Open. He's teeing off today. 14 years old. Is that too stressful, you think, for a child? Uh, I don't think it's too stressful. I think the point is that how they're, uh, what is the support group to help him along the valley? Because so many people are, are protégés, but let me see you 20 years later. Are you on drugs or are you good so to society? So I think the support group is very important there. I opinion. just love to see somebody out there doing it. Right. You know, right. we've got so many kids sitting there That's thinking they valid. can point. golf because right. they very can good. stand in front of a television set. Right. And right. that is just And not the we either, right? Not the we, oh. right? <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> no, it's amazing. Yeah, from a sports psychology standpoint, I mean, one of the toughest sports out there from a psychological sure. standpoint. So he not only put in the time to get good, okay. but to good your point. point, TC, like, 
you know, this kid, let's, let's hope his support system is huge, you know, because that's everything. I mean, really with is. practicing and getting to this level, you're missing school, you're missing some social aspects. What do you think about that? Again, it's a, it's a unique balance that he has to have in mind to make sure that he's going to be not just a golfer, but a good human being. Because again, you can get so focused on one point that you don't spread yourself to help you along the way as right. you're older in life. Right. And what do you think about de dealing with being famous at such a young age like that? Like you. Know, you. <laughs> right, exactly, oh, yeah. Diane. You know, I really think a lot of it has to do with, to be a good golfer, you've got to be pretty Intense, focused in right? your mindset. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I don't think there's that much room for him to worry about what he's getting caught up with if he actually wants right. to win and excel in that sport. And let's be honest, we have Tiger Woods. I mean, we right. see what happens right. at the extreme. So... You know, you always hope that if he is successful and continues on, that he doesn't have that result. Yeah. And unfortunately, that's commonly the case. Yeah. But there's a point I want to make, though, is that he made the cut because someone in front of him got injured. So right. that's a good point to say, keep on trying, and right. you never know that your trying will work out in exactly. the end. Exactly. So that's a good point. It wasn't Lots of people Kerrigan have opportunities, thing, right? but not everybody goes and takes it. He's and this is the kid out there taking that's it. That's correct. That's not that's so correct. bad. All right, let's move on here. We're talking about uh, profanity here. Be careful there, DC. <laughs> you look at me. Be careful. Oh, my. You look at me. Listen to this. In Middleborough, Massachusetts, town leaders voted to issue fines for mm -hmm. public swearing. It's going to cost you 20 bucks a pop. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? I, I, I have, personally, I have no problem with it, but does it also include uh, cursing in your mind as well? Because cursing no, is something that happens all the time. you can say anything you want in your mind. Uh, well, well, you know what? For our kids, I think we need to have something positive for them. That's just me, personally. You know, you know I think it's really hard to enforce, number one. True. But instead, when I find I hear someone using any profanity, number one, it's my personal check, and I say, Ooh, it, I, I don't want to sound too. like that. Right, I right. don't want to ever point. sound like Good that. Point. So it reminds me, and not only that, it's a great lesson for parents to use sure. to say, listen, you don't want to sound like that. Right. Look, doesn't that person kind of scare you? Don't they make you feel uncomfortable? Mm -hmm. And if anything, I think the fine should probably go to the parents because a lot exactly. starts at home. Exactly. Well, that's it. They're passing the buck, right? Yeah. I mean, it's the parents. What do know? we say about freedom of speech, though? Yeah, I don't think it's, it's like that Seinfeld episode where they got arrested, <laughs> the final one, right? Because they didn't help. Right. You right, know, right. come on. Yeah. There's a freedom of speech, but again, there's also a freedom of, you know, of respecting one another. I have to respect you as a human being because, again, I just can't go off uh, on you and not expect any ramification after that as well. Yeah, especially mm -hmm. if you're out in public give little ears. Hey, right? That's right, that's right, that's right. I don't find that one too bad. All I'm right. so proud of you, Teresa, for saying that. I'm just saying, okay. you know. Okay. Uh, let's move on. We <laughs> are talking about uh, the KKK. They're yes. trying to adopt a Georgia highway. Mm hmm should this be allowed? Uh, this is a free country. People can do what they want to do. But in my opinion, they should get a whole <laughs> island by themselves. So they are a separatist group. Right. So uh, they should sheets. do that. Yeah. You know, they're a separatist group. And, uh, you know, 2012, they're still using sheets. So let's, let's right. do something different. That's as something. long as they keep the, the, the mile clean, right? And don't hang the sheets yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you know, no. I, really, I really think what this is is it's a Supreme Court issue. Mm -hmm. And it's an and election issue because it does involve free speech, but we've got this same situation, did get passed and brought to the Supreme Court level in the state of Colorado. Mm -hmm. So this is not a one-time event, and the Supreme Court upheld right. the yeah. KKK's yeah. right on political freedom. So we've got an election coming up. Mm -hmm. Our presidents, whoever you're for, mm -hmm. choose those Supreme Court justices, yep. they nominate them, and I think we need to look at the bigger picture here as a society. But also, uh, going back to uh, history, 1925, the KKK marched down Pennsylvania Avenue. So, get, listen, this is a free country. People can express themselves. As long as they do it in a respectful manner, mm -hmm. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. We'll see what happens there. Maybe yeah. not driving on the highway? You yeah. never know what could turn into that. You never know. All right, we have a little over a minute left. Father's Day this weekend, right Yay. around the corner. Uh, let's talk about the... <laughs> Well, the okay. importance of just having that father figure in your life. Uh, the, uh, statistics shows that when a father is in the house, there's less poverty. Uh, the child goes to second uh, uh, tier of education. So father's very important. And uh, last I checked biology, you need a father and a mother to make a baby. So <laughs> it makes sense <laughs> yes, to have a, a, a father, as well. Well, not necessarily a dad, Well, not only right? that. Dads, fathers bring so many things to the parenting relationship that mothers wouldn't bring. I would never throw my baby in the air, but when my husband <laughs> did that, Oh, they loved it. Yeah, exactly. Know that toss. Yeah, they all do it. <laughs> and what do you think, Tom? 
Yeah, it's super important. Of you know, course. back to what TC said. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's self-explanatory common sense, right? The, the closer the attachments are, yes. the better kids you're going to have, right. you know. So, right. And I think fathers, by and large, have checked out. You know, if you look back at history, sure. you know, and I think it's finally coming back. You know, the, the woman's expected to do everything. Yeah, right. you know? help along yeah. the way. All yeah. right, guys, we're out of time. Style Squad, I love this. Tom, That's Diane, fun. TC, thanks so much for being here. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Thanks, All Teresa. right. More Connecticut Style after the break. Don't go anywhere. Durant and Westbrook stormed back to rally the Thunder. What a turnaround here in game one. Now, can LeBron and the Heat even the series? The NBA Finals. Coverage of game two begins at 8.30 Eastern. Tonight, BC. Buy one, get one free. Connecticut Home Interiors has never had an offer of this magnitude and may never offer it again. Here's how it works. Buy the first item at regular price, get the second item of equal or lesser value free. Offer includes all furniture, lamps, mirrors, and accessories in stock or special order. Choose from famous brand names including Baker, Bernhardt, Henredon, and Century. Buy one, get one free. Don't miss out. An offer of this magnitude won't last forever. Connecticut Home Interiors, your North Carolina connection, West Hartford and Avon. I could find 50 reasons to avoid going to the dentist, but not a single reason to go. I never smiled and I pretty much had stopped talking. My dentures just weren't fitting right anymore. When I got up to a tube of denture cream a week, I said, enough. I went to Aspen Dental. They're amazing. And I'm getting a lot more compliments on my smile. Right now, dentures start at $249. Plus, no interest for 18 months on quality dentures and dental care. Call 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL. Aspen Dental's going to take good care of you. on the new Riptide Racer at Lake Compounds. Save $10 on a season pass, just $69.99, and get Bring a Buddy Days free. Minutes away off I-84 in Bristol. Hey! All right, we're back here in the kitchen with our Style Squad, and we had the folks from uh, Water's Edge here, and a lot of great stuff we're going to sample. I can't wait to dig in. Tom, are you going to eat any of this stuff? Just the cake. <laughs> now, Diane, I want to mention, we have some extras in the kitchen today. Yes, this is Chamonix and Steele, who couldn't wait to come meet you, Teresa. Oh, I'm so excited <laughs> to see you guys. We're going to have a great time here in the kitchen. Um, TC, how can people get a hold of you? Uh, our website is www.rest.org, and they can get us. Very good. Well, can we dig into the tuna tartare? What are we Absolutely. looking at again? We have filet mignon recap. with Maine lobster, mm -hmm. and then we have cool. tuna tartare with crispy wontons. Oh, it sounds fantastic. Amazing. And where can we get more information about Water's Edge? Watersedgeresortandspa.com. Pretty easy. All right, guys, I'm going to pass this out. Mm -hmm. Kids, do you like tuna tartare? Yeah, sure. You'll give it a shot? Very good. <laughs> all right, we're just about out of time. We want to thank all of our guests today, but most of all, we want to thank you for watching. Make it a great day. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Dig in.